Hello, I'm Christopher Kennedy, and this is Learn Logic Pro 10 in two hours. In Logic, I'm going to go to File, New, and then it asks me what sort of a track I want to create. And we're going to start with a drummer track. So select that and click Create. The idea behind this lesson is to walk you through the basics of assembling a track in Logic Pro 10. And rather than discussing the theory, I'm just going to show you how it can be done one way. This may not be the sort of music you want to create, but you'll get a feel for how you can use this yourself. So with our drummer track selected, just hit the space bar or play at the top here and you'll hear the drummer track. Well, that's fine, but it may not be exactly what we want, but so we can make some adjustments down here. I'm not going to go into this too deeply now because we'll cover that in the next lessons, but just out of interest, while this is playing, let's move this puck here over towards complex and a little down towards soft. And you'll see that the track, well, you'll hear that the track updates and has a slightly different sound now. There's so much more we can do there, but just listen how, as it approaches the end of this region, there's a little fill before it goes into the next region. So now if we click on the second drummer region, we can play and make similar changes here. So I'll probably make this one more simple. So as that plays, I drag this over towards simple and a little softer. And that will do for now. To get back to the beginning of the timeline, just hit return. And because I'm trying to create more of a dance music sound, I'm going to move these drummer sounds into a MIDI drum kit. Now normally you'd only do this after you'd finished all your work with drummer, but this will just give you an idea of how to do it. So I'm going to click the plus button just here for new tracks and then choose software instrument. Make sure the open library box is checked and click create. It opens with a classic electric piano, which we don't want. So over here in the library, which should have opened, if it hasn't, just make sure you click this button here. We're going to go over to Drum Machine and choose Boutique 808. Then I'm just going to click on this drummer region and drag it down. And you can see it goes green and turns into a series of MIDI events. That's just a digital way to represent the notes. Do the same with the second drummer track. And now when we play back, we're going to hear that drummer rhythm played through the Boutique 808 drum machine. So you hit the space bar to play and you can hear you've got that same rhythm that you could have spent quite a lot of time working on, but you've transferred it to a different sound. Now this as well is fully editable, but we'll just leave it for now. Although I do want to shorten it. I quite like this fill before we go into the second section, but I don't want to have to wait so long for it. That's happening after eight bars. If I look at the top, it's at the end of the eighth bar. I'd rather it happened at the fourth. So I'm just gonna select my tool here and instead of using the pointer tool, I'll go to the scissors tool. And just under the five here, because that's the end of the four bar mark, I'll just click and that scissors those two pieces in half. Go back to my pointer tool, select the first one and delete. I drag this over to the left, drag this up to it, and now we get to that fill much faster. If I just want to listen to this area, I can click on the top here and drag out this yellow bar. And that means that when we play, it will cycle through this region over and over again. You can adjust how long this region is by dragging on the side handles like that. So if I just wanted to listen to the fill, it will play that over and over again. You can hit C to toggle this on and off or you can use this button up here to do the same. But it's very useful to set this cycle region sometimes when there's just one area that you're working on. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that drummer track, just select track one and delete it. And now I want some loops. So I go over to the top right and click the little loop there where it says Apple Loops. And in here, I know what I'm looking for. Later on, you're gonna to have to learn to search through this, but for now, I'm just gonna show you a quick way I'm looking for the 80s dance bass synth. So I type that in at the top, just start typing it in. And then I'll just click that and drag it into the timeline underneath the drummer track there. I'll just adjust those cycle regions so we can listen to just that section. Hit space. And that's okay up to there, but I want to try out some different tracks. So if I just click on them down here on the right, 
I can hear them being auditioned. So I quite like that one. I'm going to bring that up and drop it in. And then I think I'll bring in a few more after this. If ever you want to lengthen one of these, you just hover over the right and you can see that little loop appears and you just drag and extend that. So I'll extend that all the way to the end there. Just close my loops browser so we can see this more clearly. Now this is all very well, but I'm not particularly keen on that synth sound. So I'll click on the track itself and then I'm going to change the sound. Over in here, I'm going to type dream because I know I want the dream dancer patch. So I click on that and you can now see that the track has been renamed Dream Dancer. I can double click that and rename it anything I want, but I'll leave it as Dream Dancer for now. And we'll listen to that sound on its own. You see this S for solo? Just hit S and now as I cycle through, I can hear that synth playing. That's more subtle, that's more what I want. I'll just hit that S off. And here's a very common problem. I've left the cycle region on even though I want to hear the rest of the track. So I'll just hit C. And you can hear that developing quite nicely. So we've got a drum track and some MIDI synth. Let's put some audio in. I'll hit the plus button again. And this time click on audio. Make sure we've got Open Library, Input Monitoring and Record Enable selected. Click Create. Now if you had a microphone attached or if you were inputting a guitar, you could record directly now by clicking the red record button up here. But seeing as this is the first lesson, we'll make it a little easier. We'll just go to the loops and we'll find one of the blue loops which contains audio rather than MIDI. So this is an actual audio recording. And I'm looking for 70s choral riff layers which I can see there. If I click on that I can hear it being played. I'll drag that up to the timeline. That goes into the audio layer there. Bring the playhead up and press the spacebar. I quite like that. I'll just put my cycle region into place. The main problem I have is it's too loud. So over here I have controls to change the volume of that track. So I'll just cycle it. I'm going to drag the volume right down. That's much better. I want it right in the background. I might turn my Dream Dancer track up a little. Now we're not mixing at this stage. This is just to make it so that I can listen to the track in a way that's appealing as I'm working on it. Just hit C to turn off that cycle region. And I'll show you just how much fun you can have by using MIDI tracks and changing the way they're played in Logic. So I've typed in classical up here so you can see that we have all these classical pianos. And if I click on classical piano left, you can hear that's a very straightforward piano sound. I'm just going to drag that into the timeline and it creates a MIDI track with an orchestra Steinway piano. I'll move that further into the track, maybe where we go into the second drummer section. And if I listen to that, it's okay, but it just doesn't suit this track. So we now select this track and we change the patch setting. So using this slider at the bottom, I'll just slide right over to the left. Then I'll hover over this blue line and just stretch this out so I can see what I'm looking at. So I can search through for a sound that I want under here. Say I go to synthesizer and bass, I could find something in here. Funk bass blast is a good one. So I'll just click that Then I'll close my library on the top left here. And now that classical piano is going to be played in the sound of a funk bass blast. So I just click at the very top again in the numbers to cycle that region. Then hit S to solo it and now we'll listen to that. So our classical piano has turned into something much more interesting. Let's drag some more classical piano into here. Now I want to shorten this. So rather than hovering over the top there and dragging it out to the right, I can't really drag to the left because this is for looping. But what I can do is to go a bit lower and you see the icon changes and then I can drag to the left. And then I'm going to put another copy of Classical Piano 1 there and loop that out. I'll hit C to turn off cycling. Unsolo this by hitting the S so all the tracks are on. Hit return to go back to the beginning and hit the space bar.
So you begin to get an idea of how easy it is to build a track. And we're only doing a few bars here, but we've got some audio, we've got various types of MIDI and a unique drum rhythm. And we haven't even started to add sound effects to this. For instance, we could go to the choral layers. I'll just solo it and cycle the region up here. So we know that sound now. But if I go over to the left here, you can see the words compressor and channel EQ. If I just click on that very dark bar under there, and under plugin, go to distortion, distortion to mono. That's going to add this distortion effect. And you can hear now as I play with this, I can just change the sound of that. And we've got something very different going on there now. This is just the smallest taste of what you can do with Logic Pro 10. As you can see in just a few minutes, you can assemble a half decent track. If you actually have some musical intent and know what you want to do, you can create something truly amazing in next to no time. <laughs>